For the month of January 2018. This is a general reading for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Rising, or Scorpio Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign as well. You can join me on Facebook and Instagram for daily insights on tarot and astrology, as well as my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash the alchemist astrologer, where you can find on-demand pages for love, finance, and other readings. Your weekly readings will always be free here on YouTube, but if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'm also at patreon.com, The Alchemist Astrologer, and all of that information is down below in the description box. Now, the last week you have the Nine of Cups. Now, this is a great card, perhaps. You're getting your wish, uh, or... Perhaps some of you, the Empress is all about the pleasure principle and you're living in the lap of luxury and maybe you're overly indulgent because, again, this is a card of excess. This is about somebody perhaps going a little bit too far in some direction. Uh, for some of you, maybe this is somebody who is wealthy. Uh, so this is a week that focuses on the sensual, getting some satisfaction, having some emotional contentment, feeling gratified, comforted, having physical pleasure. So this could be the pursuit of pleasure without thought, especially if the chariot is reckless. This is all you can think about it. You're dominated by this excessive desire, seeking pleasure. You know, could even be issues where somebody is narcissistic or hedonistic, or maybe this is some playboy, playgirl kind of activity. This is a player. Uh, or somebody especially smug. So you are focused on getting something, getting what you want. And this could be a week where you feel like, wow, I, I, I think it and there it is. You, something is easier for you to get a hold of. Or maybe you want to get out of something, and that's going to be easy too. So you have some strong desires this week, either for something or for someone. And it's going to be very important for you to remain grounded and realistic about the truth of getting what you want, because it, it carries some consequence. And whatever that price tag is, it may be higher than you're willing to pay. You may need to be very conscientious with that Six of Pentacles and be mindful of whether those scales are balanced. Uh, you know, if you want something, whatever that may be, uh, you want to move something forward, you want to purchase something, a luxury item, uh, whatever it is, it's going to be easy for you to get it with less effort, less resistance, and so you could very well get the best deal. So if, you, if there's something that you want, be mindful of how you go about getting it. Make sure that you negotiate, but you investigate so that you can get the better job, the bigger promotion, or whatever it is you're after. Uh, so in that case, this is a card of wish fulfillment. You're, you're getting some good news. There's something to celebrate and some doors are opening. For some of you, that ties into travel. For others of you, this is excess. You, you've gone too far. Maybe you're eating too much, you're drinking too much, you're smoking too much, whatever. And you need to get out there and do some exercise because you're just stuck. Uh, it could also be that this is something ethical. Uh, because the Six of Pentacles in the first part of the month you know, there are issues of fairness and justice. And this could be a week where it may be a bit challenging for you to uphold your ethics in some way. You may be tempted by something. And whatever you're tempted toward, again, you may be blinding yourself to the truth of it. It may not be worth what you think. Or it could be that you're just being so self-indulgent to the extreme that you're hurting yourself. And in the process, you're overestimating 
other people, situations, and even yourself. So you have to beware of letting your ego and that chariot card drive you, you know, off of a cliff. This is a week to use your common sense. Maybe your wish is going to be delayed or it's going to be less than what you had hoped for. So, you know, you're going to have to think carefully about what you want, why you want it, and what the price of getting it could be.